Now, joining us today is a special friend of Daily Boss Live, but also a dear friend to Regis, Lawrence Zarian. Those who watched, hey, Lawrence, first of all, I just want to say to you, I'm so sorry for the loss of your dear friend. Thank you very much. As I've said to Bert, it is just as heavy as it was when I lost my father. Oh. We just had that much importance and value in my life. Wow, and you know, to our viewers, you recognize, of course, Lawrence from our show, but also from Regis and, and Kathy Lee, also Regis and Kelly. You guys know him as the fashion guy. But as you just said, Lawrence, uh, Regis, to you, you were not only colleagues and friends for 20 years, uh, but you, saw him as a father figure and you shared a touching tribute online where you said not only is he the father figure but a mentor so tell us about this special relationship between the two of you i had always wanted to be on live with regis and kathy lee my mother really wanted that for me so i believe that the universe god god put me where i was supposed to be i met the right people i spoke to michael gelman the executive producer i said give me a shot and I got a shot. And in that shot, I met Regis Philbin. And in that shot, my world changed forever. Mm -hmm. What started as a job became a relationship. I got very close to Joy and Regis, and we created this very unique bond. And I've realized that what Regis and Joy did is they treated me like a son. Every time I was on television, they would watch. If I was up for a big job, I'd call Regis and say, okay, Regis, I'm hosting a new show. What's the number one advice I should have from you, the king? And he said, Lawrence, always listen. If you listen, you hear the gifts. Wow. He taught me how to do everything in my life, in my talent and in my career, but as my friend, he just loved me. And here's what I love about that picture that you're showing right now. I was hosting the Daytime Emmy Awards and I was on Hollywood Boulevard. It was my biggest job ever. And Regis had given me my wings to fly. And seeing that picture reminds me and will always remind me how much he loved me. Because if you look at that picture in his eyes, and in Joy's eyes are such joy and happiness. And look at that face. He is so proud of oh. me. Yeah, I was it's, I was just gonna say you he looks like a, a proud dad. Thank you. Lawrence, this is Al Jackson. He just looks like a proud dad, and I have a similar relationship with our executive producer, Aww. so I definitely, this story hits home to me, so I'm, I'm, I'm just glad your, your paths crossed, man. It's beautiful. Amen. Amen. And let me say this, let me say this quickly about Dur Bert Dubrow. Yes. I've known Bert for longer than I've known Regis, and Bert is, is old school. Bert will call me and check in and make sure that I'm okay. When he heard of Regis's passing, he called as my friend, he loves me like a father loves a son who happens to be talent. For anyone that gets to work with Burt Dubrow, your life will be better. Yeah, amen, Completely Lawrence. Burt Dubrow, we love you. In fact, I would not be here today if it wasn't for Burt, and that is a Neither man would I. I love with everything in me. Love uh, you, Bert. We appreciate you, Lawrence. We really do. And again, we are so sorry for your loss.